May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. March 22, 2024, Friday of the fifth week of Lent. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. For I heard the insults of many, and terror all around, persecute him, and let us persecute him, from all the men who had been at peace with me, and who had kept watch by my side. If only there were some way that he might be deceived, and we might prevail against him, and obtain vengeance from him. But the Lord is with me, like a strong warrior. For this reason, those who persecute me will fall, and they will be ineffective. They will be greatly confounded. For they have not understood the everlasting disgrace that will never be wiped away. And you, O Lord of hosts, the tester of the just, who sees the temperament and the heart, I beg you to let me see your vengeance upon them. For I have revealed my case to you. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he has freed the soul of the poor from the hand of the wicked. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my firmament, my refuge, and my deliverer. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God is my helper, and in him will I put my trust. My protector and the horn of my salvation and my support. Praising I will call upon the Lord, and I shall be saved from my enemies. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The sorrows of death surrounded me, and the torrents of iniquity troubled me. The sorrows of hell encompassed me, and the snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my affliction I called upon the Lord, and I cried to my God, and he heard my voice from his holy temple, and my cry before him came into his ears. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Therefore, the Jews took up stones, in order to stone him. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, We do not stone you for a good work, but for blasphemy and because, though you are a man, you make yourself God. Jesus responded to them, is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If he called those to whom the word of God was given gods, and scripture cannot be broken, why do you say, about him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, you have blasphemed, because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not do the works of my Father, do not believe in me. But if I do them, even if you are not willing to believe in me, believe the works, so that you may know and believe that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Therefore, they sought to apprehend him, but he escaped from their hands. And he went again across the Jordan, to that place where John first was baptizing. And he lodged there. And many went out to him. And they were saying, Indeed, John accomplished no signs. But all things whatsoever that John said about this man were true. And many believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How can we create moments of quiet reflection in our busy lives to deepen our connection with God and listen to his voice more attentively. 
If I do not perform my father's works, do not believe me, but if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. John 10 verses 37 to 39 These words spoken by Jesus took place during the Feast of the Dedication in Jerusalem. Jesus had been preaching clearly about his relationship with the Father in heaven, and this was causing some to become outraged, to the point of them trying to arrest him right then and there. But he escaped and went back into the wilderness, where he had been baptized by John. As Jesus remained there in the desert, many people came to him, to be with him, and to listen to his words. As they listened, they began to believe. It's interesting to note the contrast of reactions. In Jerusalem within the temple area, among large crowds gathered for the Feast of the Dedication, Jesus was increasingly rejected and persecuted. But when he returned to the desert and people had to come to see him, they listened and believed. This contrast presents us with one way, in which we will more easily grow in our faith and help others grow in their faith. Specifically, we are invited to go into the desert to encounter our Lord, away from the busyness of life, and we must also invite others to join us in such a journey. It's true that while in Jerusalem, there were people who happened to stumble upon Jesus as he was teaching and were moved by his word and came to believe. But it's also clear that when people had to commit to the effort of seeking him out in a deserted place, his words were even more transformative. In our own lives, within the ordinary activities of life, such as regular attendance at Mass, we will be given the opportunity to hear the Gospel and deepen our life of faith. But all of us need to take time to seek Jesus out in the wilderness, so to speak, so as to be even more disposed to hear Him and believe. These desert experiences come in many forms. Perhaps it's an experience as simple as going into your room alone to pray and ponder the Word of God. Or perhaps, it's a participation in a Bible study, an online devotional program, or parish catechesis event. Or perhaps, it's the choice to go away for a weekend or longer, for a guided retreat, where all you do for some time is pray and listen to our Lord. Throughout history, saint after saint has shown us the value of going off to pray, to be with our Lord, in a place where the many other distractions of life and the many voices of the world are silenced, so that God can speak to the heart and so that we can more fully respond. Reflect today upon the invitation Jesus is giving you to go out to meet him in the wilderness. Where is that place? How can you accomplish this short journey while keeping up with the important duties of life? Do not hesitate to seek out the desert to which our Lord is calling you so that you will be able to meet him there, listen to his voice, and respond with complete generosity. Let us pray. My Lord Jesus, you are calling me to enter deeper into a relationship of love with you, my divine Lord. Give me the grace I need to say yes to you, and to enter into the desert of silence and prayer I need, so as to hear your voice. Draw me to you, my Lord, and help me to more fully believe all that you wish to say. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.